Hello and welcome everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Adam Cellini. Topping our news, it's been 15 years since the two planes hit the World Trade Center on this day in 2001, forever changing our country. Personal stories from that day are still being told right here on the Sun Coast. During the many events scheduled to honor the fallen, ABC 7's Kate Flexter has a message from those who experienced those attacks firsthand. Thank you, Adam. There were several different events around the Sun Coast today to honor the victims of 9 11, but they all shared one common thread to make sure this day is never forgotten. For many, September 11, 2001 is hard to forget. For those like Rory McConnell, it's impossible. See the towers in flames was uh, devastating. When they were building them, I was a kid, and you know, every time we went through the city or near the city, you were always looking at the towers going up. The Sarasota resident worked as a corrections officer in New York City at the time and was assigned to help the medical examiner's office in the days that followed. But above all else, he remembers the city's resilience and kindness. The supplies that came in from all the schools, you know, all the kids putting their names on bottles of water, just simple things, you know. For Manhattanite Norm Schimmel, those simple things stood out the most. For some, he says 9-11 was just a day, but for New Yorkers, it was months, even years. People walked around like zombies. The, the only thing you did is if you saw a first responder or something like that, or you uh, immediately went into a store and got a bottle of water and brought it out to them. He recalls the deafening silence that followed when the city constantly in motion came to an eerie halt. Uh, the amount of sirens day and night uh, was the only thing that broke the silence. And you couldn't walk any place without seeing pictures of people saying, have you seen this person because of the non-acceptance uh, of death or, or not wanting to accept death. Today, kids are learning about the Twin Towers in history books. And for Schimmel and McConnell, who lived it, the challenge becomes making sure that even generations who can't remember the day never forget. That's 15 years isn't anything. This is going to be forever. I think it's an important thing in our nation's history to understand and never, ever happen again. At one event this evening, Schimmel presented a plaque to a local school in the hopes that even those who weren't alive when 9-11 happened will remember this day. Adam? All right, thank you, Kate. One of the most attended memorials today took place at the Sarasota National Cemetery's Patriot Plaza. First responders, local leaders, and families impacted by the attacks gathered today at the Standing with Our Fallen commemoration ceremony. Before the service, individuals were invited to adopt a victim and represent them in the audience during the Sarasota County Fire Department's tolling of the bells. Special commemorative, commemorative coins were minted to mark the occasion and were presented to Sarasota's first responders, veterans, and active duty military. The annual Fallen Heroes Memorial Ceremony was held today at Patriots Park in Venice. State Representative Julio Gonzalez and 9-11 first responder Garrett Lindgren were among those who addressed the crowd. A two-ton steel beam from the World Trade Center wreckage was also part of the memorial. Those in attendance reflected on the impact of that day back in 2001 and shared their personal experiences. I was a police officer for 36 years. I retired out of the state of Michigan as a police chief. Uh, I was working when 9-11 started and it has completely changed our lives around. We have a lot of emotional feelings about it all in the country and the people that are dying for us still. Event organizers paid tribute by honoring the names of the firefighters and officers killed on 9-11. Another 45 names were engraved on the 9-11 memorial earlier this year before Memorial Day weekend. People from around the world are in New York City today to honor the lives lost at the place where those attacks took place. Hundreds of ceremonies transpiring throughout New York City highlighting the utter loss and horror of that day. Guest speakers at the New World Trade Center read the names of all 2,996 people killed on September 11, 2001. Massive crowds honoring the legacies etched into history and into the hearts of those impacted directly. You saved many lives on September 11th. Thank you, Wells, for the gift of your final hour. I'm 15 years and three months old. Though I only knew you for three months, I feel like I've known you forever. Those grieving family members lost say the day never gets easier, but that it's so important to pass on their loved ones' legacies.
A yoga studio in Lakewood Ranch hosted a workshop for those suffering from PTSD. Four Pillars partnered with Green Zone Heroes to help those traumatized by the 9-11 attack or any other life-altering experiences. They say 70% of adults have experienced some type of traumatic event that affects quality of life. Medical and scientific research has documented that the body stores stress and trauma deep in the muscles and brain circuitry. I've developed a program for people with post-traumatic stress disorder, whether they be a Vietnam vet or had uh, suffered a traumatic experience within their life. And through this science, with certain and specific techniques, breathing, mantra, and meditation, we can help neutralize the central nervous system and the subconscious. The effects of that stored trauma may include nightmares, anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. They say yoga can release the stress held in the body. Locals also gave back through a commemorative blood drive today. The Suncoast Blood Bank hosted the event in Lakewood Ranch. Donors lined up to give blood in remembrance of those involved in the 9-11 attacks. Donors received patriotic t-shirts and other items from sponsors involved, which included several local restaurants and organizations. 15 years ago, we were actually in Frewsburg, New York when 9-11 happened. And Saw a lot of weird things that day, so I figured, hey, might as well finally donate something. I can't believe that it's been 15 years. It just, I remember exactly the day what I was doing, and um, it just seems so long ago and far away now, and I just wanted to do something to kind of, um, you know, have a memory of it and do something nice to support the day. While the event was primarily to honor 9-11 victims, it was also an effort to bring the community together in promoting selfless acts of kindness. Now let's head over to Wendy Ross for a first check, check on our weather today. Wendy. And Adam, it was a beautiful day today. We had plenty of sunshine around, and because of that, our temperatures were very hot. And even at this hour, it's quite warm because we don't have any rain around. 81 degrees for us right now. We have high humidity. Winds are coming in right out of the Atlantic, out of the southeast at around 7 miles per hour. And you can see that we've got a couple of showers still located out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Nothing really right now across central or south Florida, and we're not looking for any rain throughout the overnight time period, so we're not going to see any showers developing tonight. We don't have to worry about that. Our temperatures are in the 70s or 80s right now. They'll be dropping into the 70s a little bit later on, and this is what it's going to look like throughout the early morning periods. Overnight, we're going to be seeing our temperatures dropping down into the 70s and warming right, right back up into the 80s beginning tomorrow morning. We'll let you know what's going on in the tropics and what's up for this this upcoming work week, a little different than this weekend. We'll talk about that. Adam. All right, thank you, Wendy. Hillary Clinton is facing health, health questions after an incident earlier today. Clinton stumbling repeatedly as she left a 9-11 memorial this afternoon. Her doctor later revealing that she's been treated for a previously undisclosed illness. ABC's Devin Dwyer picks up the story. Christian Adams. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump Donald in Lower Manhattan for the 15th anniversary of September 11th, standing just feet from each other as the bells tolled. Both candidates left the ceremony early, but Clinton first, her campaign releasing a statement saying she was there for an hour and a half, paying her respects and greeting families of the fallen. However, quote, during the ceremony, she felt overheated, so departed to go to her daughter's apartment. It was very, 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 very hot. She was standing right in front of me. Her staffer came over, tapped her on the shoulder, thought someone else was coming to see her, and she just said, we're, we're going now. This video posted on Twitter shows aides helping Clinton into a van to leave. The campaign says that it was from the heat, and the fact that she was able to go out and greet people two hours later is consistent with that story. Clinton walked out of Chelsea's building before noon, waving to the media, posing for a picture, and assuring everyone she felt better. Late Sunday, Clinton's doctor released a statement revealing Clinton has been battling pneumonia and had become overheated and dehydrated. But now the doctor says she's recovering nicely. A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows Clinton still has an edge in the race for the White House, leading Trump by five points nationally, 46 to 41. Meanwhile, Clinton still taking heat for referring to half of Trump's supporters as, quote, the basket of deplorables. Trump advisor Rudy Giuliani said the rhetoric on both sides is too amped up. I know Hillary Clinton. I know Donald Trump much better. Neither one of them is a racist. And for either one to say that 
means they're getting a little too excited in, in their campaigning. Both of them are good people. The battle to be the next commander-in-chief still has 57 days to go. Devin Dwyer, ABC News, Washington. Tonight, Hillary Clinton also canceled a fundraising trip to California scheduled for tomorrow. Still to come here on ABC 7, another memorial on the Sun Coast draws dozens, but this one honors two lives lost in Palmetto one year ago. Stay with us. What does it mean when New South Window says factory direct? It means we have a factory. It means we eliminate the middleman. It means you get an award-winning, energy-efficient window at factory direct prices. Plus, New South Windows are made in Florida. Ford, Florida home. By Florida workers, because we know Florida weather. Bring your measurements this Saturday from 9 to 4 to get huge discounts. New South Window, we manufacture, we install, we guarantee. Call now. Temperatures are rising, and the deals are hotter than ever during the summer clearance event at Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Get the all-new Chrysler Pacifica for just $26,999, and get an additional $1,000 off with a trade-in. Hurry, time is running out to get the new Dodge Journey for just $15,999, and right now, get up to $10,000 off a new Ram Crew Cab. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. A message from the Pulaski Law Firm. For decades, many Americans working in the trades were exposed to environmental hazards without their knowledge. While the dangers of one such airborne threat, asbestos, have long been known, efforts were made to hide the risks from the public. The result? Thousands of cases of asbestos-induced mesothelioma. Those in the trades may have been harmed by hundreds of companies who produced asbestos-laden products. The U.S. Bankruptcy Court has established asbestos trusts with $30 billion in initial funding. You may be entitled to financial compensation without ever going to court. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available, then call us. Call 800-279-1837. For nearly two decades, we've been fighting for those harmed by asbestos. Act now. Call for a free consultation and see how we can help. Mesothelioma. Don't fight it alone. Hi, I'm Dylan Radigan. The world is brimming with possibilities. And that keeps me busy. My latest invention may be able to feed and sustain communities around the world. My team and I are always on the go, meeting new people and seeing new places. I produce films that I really care about. It's an honor to speak to audiences around the world. When people come together, meaningful work gets done. How do I do all this? Well, that part's easy. Hotelplanner.com. ABC7 is proud to present Line Dance Central. Now you can learn popular country and not-so-country line dances from the comfort of your own home. Just visit mysuncoast.com, click on entertainment, and you'll be kicking up your boots or flip-flops in no time. Brought to you by the White Buffalo Saloon and Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office is looking for the person responsible for a deadly shooting in Bradenton. The sheriffs responded earlier to a woman who was shot in front of a home on the 5800 block of 11th Street East. Deputies arrived to find Ernestine Garner laying on the ground in front of the home. She was said to be in stable condition when EMS arrived, but later died from her injuries at Blake Hospital. The sheriff's Office says there are currently no suspects in the case. Anyone with information should contact Crime Stoppers. A small group in Palmetto held another memorial this evening, this one to honor two brothers murdered at a convenience store last September. A candlelight vigil was held for the Youssef brothers, killed last year on Labor Day. Kasem and Ferris were covering a shift at their family's Snappy's Mart convenience store when they were shot execution style by an intruder. Organizers say today's ceremony was about taking a moment to let the family know that the victims have not been forgotten. I couldn't not come out. I just remember when this happened um, a year ago. I just couldn't get my head around this type of a crime and um, the senselessness of it. And I feel the only thing you could do now is help support the family. It's important because this tragedy happened in our community a year ago. And it commemorates 9-11 as well. And what we want to do is uh, continue to show this family that uh, experienced this horrific crime, uh, that we are here for them as a community. 
The killer, Devin Chandler, was eventually arrested and charged with two counts of second degree murder. Manatee County Public Libraries are ready to help those looking for a job. About 30 employers and agencies will be on hand to discuss potential opportunities with job seekers tomorrow. Last year's hiring fair brought in 400 job seekers and 40% of those had interviews. Tomorrow's fair will take place from 1 to 4 p.m. at the downtown Central Library. Job seekers should bring a copy of their resume on a USB drive and dress in professional attire. And as a wise man once told me, dress for the job you want, not the job you have. There you go. That's a great idea. Yes. That's a very good idea. It's, That's it's, wise. It starts, it starts between the ears with yes, the mentality. It yes, it does. Yeah. It's all in your attitude, and it certainly is in your the way you present yourself. Absolutely. So that's a great idea. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what. It is going to be a, a little bit different tomorrow, just from the standpoint that we're going to start to see more rain coming on in. Today, though, because we didn't have any rain, we had hot temperatures once again. I mean hot. It was 95 degrees. That was our daytime high. Now you'll notice that we did not set a record. That was set back in 1925 when we had 98 degrees on this date. So it has been hotter, but it was hot enough. 95, it felt as though it was 102. And right now it's 81 degrees. We've got fair skies out there. Dew points are moderate. We're also looking at our humidity at 77%. The winds are also coming in out of the southeast at this hour. All around the state, we have temperatures in the 70s and 80s at this time. And as you can see along the west coast of Florida, this is where we're seeing our temperatures mostly reflecting what the rest of the state is doing. 70s over the central part of our viewing area. And then we're looking at temperatures in the 80s on Siesta Key and Longboat Key, Sarasota Bradenton at 81 degrees, while Venice is reporting 79 degrees right now. And what we have is a little bit more moisture that has been developing over the past weekend. It has been developing right Right here just off the coast of Florida and this is a system that is not going to develop into a tropical storm or a tropical anything other than it is a tropical wave but it is going to continue to move towards the northwest and as it does so it's going to bring a lot more moisture to our area so we're going to start to see the rains coming in beginning tomorrow afternoon around 4 o'clock, and then it just continues for the next several days with a 50 to 60 percent chance of rain. Today we only had a 30 to 40 percent chance, and you can see we didn't get a whole lot in the way of rainfall, and we're still looking at quiet conditions right now. Most of the showers have already moved out to sea. So what we're going to be getting is maybe a half an inch of rain throughout the day tomorrow, but then after tomorrow when the rains come in in earnest, we could see anywhere from an inch to an inch and a half of rain, and that's going to cover the southern part of the state and go well to the north of our region. So we will see some of these showers will be heavy as they come on through, and this is what it's going to look like over the next couple of days. So the rains will be coming from the southeast, and they're going to be moving up into the central parts of Florida and across our viewing area as well. So we are going to see a 50 to 60 percent chance of rain. This system could become a tropical depression either overnight tonight or in the morning hours tomorrow. And what we're going to continue to watch is that it's going to be moving into the central Atlantic. So it is not going to be a problem for Florida. And once again, this is our area here that we're watching because this area right here is moving in our direction. It's not going to bring us anything more than rainfall. But but it will be with us. So this is what we can expect over the next couple of days. A hot day tomorrow, once again, 92 for the high. Late day showers coming through, and then we keep those rain chances at 50 to 60% for the majority of the week. Adam? All right, thank you, Wendy. Sports is next. Stay with us. Game on, Suncoast. Get scores and highlights from the area's top high school matchups on Football Friday Night, just after the news at 11.15. Sponsored by Gulf Coast Honda. They say good things come to those that wait. Well, you've waited long enough. You deserve to feel fabulous in your fashionable new Fiat 500X from Alfa Romeo Fiat in Sarasota. Boldly innovative, seductively stylish. Fiat gives you everything you'd expect from a capable utility vehicle, like a spacious interior and advanced safety systems, designed and built like a sexy little sportster. Don't wait any longer. You deserve to feel fabulous. Get a new Fiat at Alfa Romeo Fiat of Sarasota. If you're one of the millions of Americans who are disabled and unable to work, I have an important message. You may be entitled to receive disability benefits through Social Security. 
you'll be matched up with an advocate who will evaluate your situation, handle your application, deal with Social Security for you, and handle all appeals and hearings. Best of all, there are no upfront fees, so you pay nothing until you receive your benefits. Call the Citizens Disability Helpline today for a free, no obligation consultation. People ask me all the time, George, what do I do with my idea for a new product? I tell them, call my friends at InventHelp. Call InventHelp today for free information. InventHelp has been providing patent referrals, preparing ideas, and submitting to companies for more than 30 years. I believe every inventor deserves the opportunity to step into the ring and take their best shot. Put InventHelp in your corner. For your free inventor's information, call 1-800-881-6805. Attention blood clot filter patients. Surgically implanted blood clot filters are potentially life-threatening. Some filters are prone to breaking, resulting in pieces of the filter moving through the body and causing internal bleeding. If you had surgery to implant a blood clot filter, you may be entitled to a cash award, even if you haven't suffered side effects yet. Call the Gold Shield Group now, 888-747-5291, to see if you qualify for a cash award, 888-747-5291. Stop! Living with hair loss, that is. Losing your hair is no fun and no one wants to be bald, but there is hope. Getting my hair back was the best thing that ever happened to me. I'm happy with the way I look now. I'm very excited about my hair. I feel beautiful. I love my hair. Hair Club offers all proven hair loss solutions backed by our commitment to satisfaction guarantee. If you're not 100% satisfied with the solution you choose, Hair Club will apply the purchase price to another proven hair loss solution or transplant more hair at no charge. That was the best thing I've ever done. It looks good on me. Call in the next five minutes to get your free brochure at no obligation. It will tell you everything you need to know about your hair loss problem, and it's free if you call now. I am more pleased than what I had even imagined. I at least look, I would say, five years younger. I'm 52, and I look better now than I did when I was in my 40s. I feel great. And that's not all. The first 100 people who call will also receive $250 off any hair loss solution from Hair Club. Call now. Now, sports. The NFL season is officially underway, and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers start on a high note up in Atlanta. Jameis Winston throwing for four touchdown passes against the division rival Falcons today, including this one to tight end Brandon Myers. That is their first connection of the season. Now, running back Charles Sims also turning heads with a highlight reel catch and run before the half. Sims fighting off Atlanta defenders for a 23-yard touchdown. Dirk Cutter earns his first win as Tampa Bay's head coach, and the Bucks go on to beat Atlanta 31 to 24. Now over in Seattle, multiple Miami Dolphins players taking a knee during the anthem before their game against the Seahawks. When play started, it took teams all four quarters to finally score the first touchdown in this game. And with a four-point lead late in the game, the Dolphins' defense allows Russell Wilson to deliver the dagger. With 30 seconds left in the ballgame, Doug Baldwin on the catch. The Finns block the extra point, but the Seahawks hang on, hang on to win this one 12-10. And the Jacksonville Jaguars lose a nail-biter against the Green Bay Packers today. Blake Bortles throwing for over 300 yards and a touchdown. But the Packers win this one 27-23. The Tampa Bay Rays witness history today before their game in New York, taking part in the pregame 9-11 ceremony at, at Yankee Stadium. Tributes to 2001 were all over the ballpark, including right on the bases and bagpipers, flag bearers, also marching in the, by the dozens across the field to honor first responders. Manager Joe Girardi and Dylan Batances also carried this wreath to the stadium's 9-11 memorial plaque, followed by a moment of silence. When play finally did begin, the Rays would score four runs on three home runs today. Four Rays pitchers allowed Four Rays pitchers, including starter Matt Andrees, gave up only one earned run to the Yankees, and the Rays win this one 4-2 in New York. Also in New York today, the finals of the U.S. Open. Novak Djokovic and Stan Wawrinka facing off in Arthur Ashe Stadium. Djokovic won the first set, but Wawrinka took the next three to win his first ever U.S. Open. Wawrinka has now collected three of the four Grand Slam titles necessary. Wimbledon is the sole tournament left unconquered by this 31-year-old Swiss player. More to come here on ABC7. Stay with us. The all-new MySuncoast.com. Just another way we're here for you.
Get ready, college football fans. When you buy a $5 or more Fantasy Five ticket and enter your team's drawing, you could win great prizes like team merchandise, tickets to your team's games, and other bowl game experiences. You could even win a championship weekend prize pack in Tampa or $10,000 cash. Fantasy Five from the Florida Lottery. Just imagine. Attention breast cancer survivors. If you experience permanent hair loss or baldness after chemotherapy, you may qualify for a cash award. Thousands of women suffering breast cancer were given a chemotherapy drug without being warned about the possibility of irreversible alopecia. If you or a loved one suffered permanent hair loss after chemotherapy, call 888-622-8732. Time to file a claim is limited. 888-622-8732. That's 888-622-8732. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. You don't go to college. College goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. And all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet, are included with tuition. Independence U. For an independent you. 1-800-350-9872. A message from the Pulaski Law Firm. For decades, many Americans working in the trades were exposed to environmental hazards without their knowledge. While the dangers of one such airborne threat, asbestos, have long been known, efforts were made to hide the risks from the public. The result? Thousands of cases of asbestos-induced mesothelioma. Those in the trades may have been harmed by hundreds of companies who produced asbestos-laden products. The U.S. Bankruptcy Court has established asbestos trusts with $30 billion in initial funding. You may be entitled to financial compensation without ever going to court. If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with mesothelioma, get the best care available. Then call us. Call 800-279-1837. For nearly two decades, we've been fighting for those harmed by asbestos. Act now. Call for a free consultation and see how we can help. Mesothelioma. Don't fight it alone. At Sunset Subaru in Sarasota, we make sure you get the most for your money. More years, more miles, and when you're ready to sell, you'll get more money back. Come fall in love with the longest-lasting vehicle in its class, the Subaru Outback. Or lease a new 2017 Subaru Forester for just $209 a month. Or get 0% financing right now during the Subaru A Lot to Love event. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Transgender actress Alexis Arquette has died. Two family members confirmed her passing this morning at the age of 47. Arquette was known for her roles in such movies as The Wedding Singer and Pulp Fiction. Her transition was the focus of a film titled Alexis Arquette, She's My Brother, and it was released in 2007. Alexis, who was born Robert Arquette, was also a transgender activist. There's still no word on the cause of her death. She was the sibling of actors David, Rosanna, and Patricia Arquette. U.S. moviegoers were feeling patriotic this weekend, seeking out a new movie about a real-life American hero. David Daniel has the box office top five. Is there anything you wouldn't eat? Robinson Crusoe lands on an island of talking animals in The Wildlife, which debuted in fifth place with $3.4 million. Suicide Squad passed the $300 million mark in domestic box office, taking fourth place with $5.7 million. After two weekends on top, Don't Breathe fell to third place, grossing $8.2 million. We'd like you to stay here with us in our guest house. The surrogate pregnancy thriller When the Bow Breaks opened in second place, beginning its run with $15 million. Mayday, mayday, mayday. This is Cactus 1549. Hit birds. We've lost thrust on both engines. We are turning back towards the war. Tom Hanks and Sully soared above expectations, debuting on top with $35.5 million, one of the biggest September openings ever. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. Oh. I want to there see that one so badly. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Oh, I think yeah. a lot of people really do. And if you missed it before our broadcast, we have a new Miss America. I know we do. Miss Arkansas. Miss Arkansas. She took it, took the crown. And, and she has an interesting name. Savvy. Savvy. Savvy Shields. Isn't Savvy that an interesting name? She was beautiful. It's kind of a secret agent name a little bit. Yeah, could Savvy be. Shields. Could be, yeah. All right. <laughs> yes, Thanks for joining us tonight, guys. We'll see you next weekend.
I agree with that. Yes, we're here.